Gwen, Gwen, I can, I can explain, okay? Ethan, did you buy this for the baby? Uh, yeah, 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 oh, yeah. Honey, I did. That was so sweet oh, of you. I'm glad you like it. Ethan. Oh, honey, I love it. Look at all these things you got. Oh my goodness, you must have bought out half the baby stores in L.A. <laughs> yeah, well, just about it. You're really excited for this baby, aren't you? Oh, honey, of course I am. Oh, sweetheart, I'm so glad. Ethan, we're going to be a real family soon. <laughs> just the three of us. Oh, yeah, we are. It's going to be so perfect. Oh, no, sweetheart, I'm, I'm going to go get him some juice from the kitchen. Would he like some? Oh, dad, uh, juice. That'd be great, yeah. <laughs> I'm hoping that it will give me the energy I need to enjoy all this wonderful time we get to spend together. Mm. <laughs> I love you. I, I love you. You gotta get out of here. That was too close. I don't think we should tell Gwen the truth that you love me. No, no, I am not gonna do anything to hurt her, that baby. Hey, I don't wanna hurt anyone either, okay? But if you don't tell Gwen the truth about our true feelings for each other, then you know, we're, we're just gonna be kept apart, just like Lewis and Sheridan. Don't do that, please. Don't let us be kept apart like Lewis and Sheridan. No, I have a responsibility to her and that baby. What about a responsibility to yourself? Teresa, you have to you have to go. You have to go. Come what, on. What are you talking about? Gwen is in the kitchen, and if I leave, she's gonna see me. Well, there's gotta be a way to get you out of here. She has to be kept calm, okay? And if she gets upset, it's not good for her and the baby. You know that. I don't want to hurt Gwen or the baby, Ethan, but we have to deal with our situation. You told me that you love me. It doesn't matter. I'm not breaking my marriage vows. What about us? Teresa, this isn't the time for this discussion. When is the time, Ethan? Huh? After the baby Wait. is born? Huh? What, 10 years from now? How about 30 years from now? No, you know, 50 years from now, after we've spent our entire lives apart denying our love. Do you remember that green fog? Yes. Remember the vision that we had? It showed us what our lives would be like if we denied our love. Have you forgotten that, have you? No, no. Well, then don't let that happen to us. Don't let us wind up at the end of our lives regretting that we were never together. Please, please, come on. She's gonna be back any second. You've got to hide in that closet. Come on, you have got to go in there. Here, overnight, are you serious? <gasps> I know why Gwen came back here from the hospital, okay? She, she, she wants to be with you, okay? She wants to make love to you. Now, no, please, do not make me stay here for you and Gwen here overnight. I mean, I, I, I love you, Ethan, and that is just something that I, I cannot do. Teresa, no. there's no other way. There's no other way. She has to be kept calm, and if she gets upset, it could be really dangerous for her and that baby. She can't see you. You have to hide. Please. I'm trying to be strong for you here, okay? I, I really am, but it's really hard knowing that you love me. I'll be right there, sweetheart. Oh, please, please, come on. Please hide. Mm. Hi. 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 <laughs> oh, oh, you feel so good. Oh, this is so much better than being at the hospital. Yeah, look, you know, I was, uh, I was thinking about that. You know, Dr. Abel said that you should probably stay at the hospital another night. And I think I should take you back. No, no. Ethan, I am exactly where I belong. Right here with you, my handsome husband. 